Hello everybody, VG Shine here, and welcome back to Let's Play Twilight Princess HD Critical Mode. In the last episode, we defeated Xant and got recovered the few shadow that he stole from us, and got the last heart container in this entire game. Yes, now that we have 20 hearts, I feel prepared to take on the Cave of Ordeals, and that's what we're going to do this episode. So, I will meet you guys where the, where the, where the Cave of Ordeals is, right after I do some shopping. Well, here we are. The Cave of Ordeals. Now off screen I went ahead and bought the two blue potions and uh, 30 arrows. Uh, five rupees for 10 arrows. That was, that's not a bad deal. Thank you, Malamart. So yeah. The Cave of Ordeals, on critical mode. Essentially, I am doing the Cave of Ordeals with only five hearts. Because, yeah, do the math. Okay, got to mentally prepare myself. Here we go. Your power is a gift given only to those with confidence to wield it. So yeah, this is actually my second attempt. Yeah, I, I lost uh, somewhere around like the 22nd floor. I ended up uh, dying to a bunch of rats of all things. I They, 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 they uh, somehow managed to kill me before I had a chance to use one of my potions. So yeah, we are doing this again. And yeah, so basically, uh, this dungeon is a uh, is a base. It's basically a gauntlet of enemies. You have to you have to fight by all the enemies in the room. And uh, once you clear out clear room of enemies, the door will open, and you can proceed to the next area. And yeah, and yeah, in this first floor, we just had to take out that uh, one goblin. But uh, as we move on, the challenges will only get more and more difficult. And I'm playing this on critical mode, so I'm basically having to deal. With everything this dungeon has, has to throw at me, with only five hearts. Okay, let's let's do let's do this again. Hopefully, more successfully this time. Cue the music. Okay, I lost eight hearts already. That's even worse than what I did the first time. Wow. Well, anyways, uh, for every ten floors you clear, you get to meet this lovely lady. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, were you were you relaxing? I I, I can come back. I mean, if you need some time, if you need some more alone time, you know. I am a gentleman. Welcome, hero, to the cave of ordeals. I am the great fairy. I reign over all fairies of this realm as their queen. Is that why you don't have a shirt on? 
and praise of your efforts thus far. I will release fairies to Ordon Spring. From this point on, you will have need of the ancient power that allows one to walk along a cliff without a single foothold. And yeah, she's referring to the spinner that we got in the Arbor's Grounds. So yeah, we could have actually uh, done these uh, first ten floors at the start, at, at, right when we first, start, right, right when we first uh, discovered this cave. In fact, uh, we, in fact, we probably, I could have, probably could, could have done that in order to get the fairies in Ordon. Then I would have like an endless supply of fairies. But yeah, we didn't do that. Cause I'm, cause yeah, I like to use potions, cause they heal more. Also, I'm lazy. If you want to give up the fight for now and go re-equip yourself, I can return you to the surface. You need merely speak to me. Nah, I'm good. I mean, I'm a little injured, but uh, yeah, I, I think I can keep going for like 40 more flowers. I mean, I, I pretty much have to, otherwise this let's play would be incomplete. Anyway, we also get this chest here, which I don't think was in the original version of this game, we get the surprise link stamp. Yep, this place has uh, five more stamps for us to collect. And wow, he is surprised probably because we took so much damage during the first leg of this of this dungeon. <sighs> yeah, we still have uh, 40 more floors of this. Yep, this is gonna be fun, all right. You the music. <laughs> Okay, down to my last five hearts, and we've only cleared uh, 20 rooms. Wow, did, did you did you guys see what happened on like the like the 11th floor? Like all the all those rats like were blocking out my shield at the same time. I was basically stuck in a loop. I couldn't do anything about that. Eh, that was BS. Also, also in the also in the gel room, you, you saw that uh, that that there was there was a blue there was a blue there was a blue uh, there was a blue slime I could have gotten, but uh, unfortunately I was too slow. And also, I got Poe along the way, which uh, yes, there are three there are three Poes in this area, which are the last three that we need to uh, complete our Poe collection. Uh, anyway, uh, this uh, this chick with no shirt on appear is is here, so let's so let's talk. 
I am impressed that you made this far, hero. In praise of your efforts thus far, I will release fairies to Baron Spring. Yay! From this point on, you will have need of the power that allows one to break through massive frozen blocks of ice. And yeah, she's referring to the ball and chain that we that we got in Snow Peak. If you want to give up the fight for now and go re-equip yourself, I can return you to the surface. You need merely speak to me. And yeah, basically every 10 floors we clear, another spring gets filled with fairies. And we get a super reward if we can clear all 50 floors. The emphasis on if. Wow, at this rate, I am going to die really soon. I mean, I mean, yeah, I do I do still have four potions, but that's assuming I have the time to use them. Because, yeah, last time, I did not have the time to use them. Anyway, I'm inside this chest is our second stamp of this area, the Angry Zelda stamp. Yeah, she is very disappointed at my performance thus far. I will do better, Zelda, I promise. Hopefully. I'm not totally sure, honestly. Okay. Onwards with you. Well, uh, all things considered, I think that went uh, relatively well. I, I had to use my potion, but uh, after that I only lost uh, two hearts, so I think we're doing relatively okay. At least I made it uh, further than I did the last time. But uh, anyway, let's uh, talk to the Great Fairy and uh, claim our third reward. Okay, she was laying down, then she stood up, and now she's just straight up standing up. I'm I am impressed that you made it this far, hero. In praise of your efforts thus far, I will release fairies to Elden Spring. Yay! More fairies! 
From this point on, you will have need of the power that allows one to become master of lifeless statues. Basically, the Dominion Rod that we got from the Temple of Time. If you want to give up the fight for now and go re-equip yourself, I can return you to the surface. You need merely speak to me. Alright, so as you may have saw in the footage, uh, on some of the areas I uh, I basically sniped, sniped from upstairs using the bomb arrows, which is a legitimate strategy. I mean... I mean, basically, basically, I'm, I'm playing on critical mode, so I basically have to use all the resources I can to get through this alive. And, yeah, also there is a treasure chest. Inside is our third stamp of this area, the Happy Midna stamp. Yes, the Grinch smile is back. Alright, 20 more floors left to go. Let's do this. <sighs> well, we made it past the fourth of, fourth of five legs. 
And yeah, I had I had to use my 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 magic armor in order to get clear that last room. But on the plus side, I got a red potion to replace the blue potion I used previously. So, yay! We're making progress, I think. All right, let's talk to the fairy and dark and claim our prize. Is she wearing less clothing? I feel like she's wearing less clothing now. I'm impressed that you made it this far, hero. In praise of your efforts thus far, I will release fairies to Lanayru Spring. From this point on, you will have need of the power that allows one to move freely from wall to wall. Yep, the double claw shots from uh, the city in the sky. Yep, Monkey D. Butt Butt is ready to go. If you want to give up the fight from, for now and go re-equip yourself, I can return you to the surface. You need merely speak to me. Alright, and with that, we also get the fourth stamp in this dungeon, which is... The Heart Container Stamp! Yep, unfortunately, it is not a real heart container. It is basically Monopoly money. I think I said that before, but uh, whatever, I'm gonna say it again. Alright. Ten more floors. One more, one more prize to get. Wish me luck, guys.
And with that, we have completed the cave of ordeals. It was an ordeal, but we did it. I used up both of my blue potions and my rare jelly and about and over 1500 of my rupees, but we did it. We beat the cave of ordeals. And in this last treasure chest, the fairy stamp. Yay! Yay! And also we get one more prize from the Great Fairy. Oh, go oh, Great Fairy. I have survived your challenges. What is my prize? You cleared many ordeals. How impressive. In praise of your courage, I will give you this blessing. You got the Great Fairy's Tears! This sacred water contains the Great Fairy's Prayers! Yep, this is actually the second one we that, that we have. We got the first one from, from Giovanni when we turned into 20 Poes. Set the YXOR, replant Scythe Energy, and for a while, but if it's attack strain, blah blah blah, we know this. Drink this, and you should be able to clear any difficulties that you might encounter ahead. If ever you need my assistance, again, visit any spring. Many on the surface cry out for one with powers like yours. You must go back. The great fairy touched my cheek. Oh, I am so posting it on Twitter, or whatever the Hyrule equivalent of Twitter is. Which I guess is just the mail delivery guy. Well, anyway, uh, we've cleared, we cleared the, uh, the Cave of Ordeals and got the last of the pose along the way. You know what that means? Yep, we get to claim our final reward from Giovanni. So let's do that. Right after I scoop up this fairy. Yay, we caught a fairy in a bottle. So yeah, anytime we need fairies, we can just come over here and uh, we can also we can also talk to this lady if we ever need a refill on our great fairies on our great fairy tears or is that what they're called? Yep, great fairy tears. Alright, so before I end this video, I wanna turn in the rest of my pose. So I'll meet you guys back there. Hey Giovanni, I'm home, and guess what I've got for you? Yep, your humanity. Your humanity, that's what I got for you. You did it! Look at me! I'm back to my old self again! Thanks thanks to you, everything in my life is coming up roses! <laughs> oh, of course, I need to thank you. Please accept this. 200 rupees. We got all, we traveled all this way, collected 60 souls for, mo for money. Well, yeah, I guess I'll take it, sure. I was gonna think of something, what, something political to say, but uh, yeah, that's beneath me. All right, I need to let my girlfriend know that I'm back. I wonder what her expression will be when she sees I'm back. Say, you're the one who fixed up my master, right? I owe you. My name's Gingle. I'm the leader of the cats outside. Well, well, now that I can move, maybe I should go outside and breathe some fresh air. And, uh, yeah, if you go back to a Thomas bar, you'll see a rather sad and pathetic scene. Yep, you'll find him in Thomas bar. Crying his heart out. Hmm. What's wrong? Wah! 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 I hadn't seen her in a while, and she'd started dating another man. Wow! 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 Yeah. He was greedy, and now, even though he is rich beyond belief, he feels like nothing. 
Very, very sad and poetic. Yeah. So now if we uh, go back to his house, you'll see that his cat is still there. Oh, it's you. I see. So my master got dumped, huh? Well, I guess it goes to show that for humans, it's all about the money. I guess that means we don't need any more money, so you can take it all. Yep, every time you come back here, you will get a reward of 200 rupees. So yeah, you basically have like an infinite money stash. Oh, and we also get another stamp, the rupee stamp. So how many stamps does that make it now? 47 stamps, all right. And I believe I know where the rest are. So yeah, join me next time when we infiltrate the castle. And yeah, there, I know there's some other side stuff I, could, I need to do, like the Cave of Shadows. But I'm gonna save that as like a, as like a post Let's Play video. You know, kind of an extra features, if you will. Alright, so I'll see you guys next time when we take on Hyrule Castle and save Princess Zelda. And also take down Ganon. And all that other good stuff. See you guys next time. Bye bye. This took an hour and 22 minutes. And this is my second recording of this. Wow.